haven't been here and you live in Vegas, you sleep. But if you have been here, you already know what I'm talking about. It's hot in here though. Yeah, Lexi been having a craving <coughs> since 5 a.m. this morning that she wanted nachos and she told me that she should have woke me up out of my sleep to take her to Roberto's to go get nachos. So she just woke up from another nap. So now we're at Tacos El Gordo. You want to tell them what you was going to do to me? I was going to wake them up because we wanted nachos. Who wanted nachos? We did. Who? Oh. Me and the baby. Yeah, what time? At 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So if y'all don't know, I've been I would have been like, no, listen, bro. She, you know, he would have been a meanie about it. I would have been like, bro, and are then, you serious? Like, <laughs> come he on. wouldn't. He would have just ignored me first of all. I probably would have never heard her, even if she would try to wake me up. Cause she said and she's. Then, I I was up till nine twenty in the morning, <laughs> hungry. But then you decided when I woke up, but I'm gonna go I make some up. cereal. Yeah, because I was getting mad. So as you can see, we are done eating. Hopefully I don't have no food on my face, looking like a weirdo. But um, I smashed my food. She took hers to go, of course. You know baby girl's birthday is Friday. Y'all know that, right? They don't know that. They know that. Now they do. Now they do. Mobsters, baby girl's birthday is Friday, so I better see all y'all in her Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wishing her happy birthday on Friday. So. Don't say I didn't know it was her birthday. And yes, as you can see, baby girl made me put this tea on, man. She 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 brought hers out, so I had to bring mine's out. So I was like, ah, fuck. I, I was like, ah, fuck. I gotta bring mine's out too. So tell me how y'all think this looks, you know, as we vlogging today. This is a day vlog. Yesterday was just how to make your own clothing, custom clothing. But hey, we'll tune in with y'all. Happy Monday. It's Money Monday, and it's Money week all week you feel me three up three now drone wave and drown in it your wave is my wave yeah. no, it doesn't really match uh, the dress they don't match the dress not really you're tripping y'all eyes the color's are a little bit off you feel me all right so what you think no no it's like, too small think? Well, is this a large? Yeah, I guess so. It has some of this color. We put it on. I don't know what stripes it What do you guys think? You look gay as fuck. Yeah, bro. This shit tight as fuck. Let me put you on camera. No, I'm real. Look like that. Let me put you. Turn around. Ooh, work it. But no, exactly. How does this? We exclusive. They only allow a hundred people in there. No, they would have knew that. Alright. I kind of like that color on you. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. OG crib, man. Yeah, why'd you have to go there? That's not the crib cut. But, uh. It's nice. Yeah, she already knew. Why'd she have to go there? Shoes are you? I'm a 13, but I'm a 12 in Vans. I only wear Vans. Okay, what size are you in dress shoes? Dress shoes. I'm only a 12. What are you gonna wear? Your Vans? Your green Vans? <laughs> we'll come back. Shit, we'll come back and return the hose. Oh, let's see right here. 12s. Well, you know what? I really feel like you would look so sexy in these shoes right here. Oh, those are nice. Let's see, I'll try them. Let's see, cowboy. Oh, I like those. I like those. They do fit. Oh, those are nice. Uh, some tight pants, bro. Right, no, I need some tight pants, like some. Those are nice. Some buzz down. They feel good? Walk, get up and walk. Bro, I'm going to be dragging other shoes. Yeah, they feel, but they feel like, okay. They won't hurt me. Like, they fit. They, That's what these are the exact size. These probably run like big. I don't know if they're like Canadian shoes or something where they run big. Yeah, so where we get tighter pants? Randy, Lexi's trying to find her some wedding shoes, as you can see. Hopefully we'll be giving you a look. If not, 
I got a Marshall snake. Oh yeah, take your boy out. Bitch. Get with me. Reveal me. What are they? Those are my grandma over there. I'm gonna rip the paper off. They're soft. Yeah, I'll see what the fuck going on. You see me? Am I a cop? Am I a wavy ass thing? Oh, I'm just look stupid. You got the Ray Bans on, you know me. You gotta get it perfect. You don't confuse me. <laughs> Hopefully, I get blessed enough to find some slim fit black pants because this is our third store. Starting to lose hope. Starting to lose hope. Um, so, guys, to the mall we go. We'll see you guys at Old Navy. The mob is slow way. Mobsters, right now, I just dropped Alexis off and uh, we are headed to Subway. As you can know, my girlfriend loves to send me to Subway or any food place right after I drop her off at work. So, after that, I do have to run to go get the um, car fluids checked and uh, find out which brakes are messed up. We're gonna go buy some brakes from AutoZone and have my mom's my mom's boyfriend help us fix that so that's another cool thing but uh now nah, we're about to go and get our brakes checked and get the fluids checked i'm gonna go do that while lexi's at work well, we're pulling up to starbucks right now as you can see yes sir we are at starbucks all right guys i'm gonna have to actually let you guys go because i don't know if lexi's ordered by heart Thank you for choosing our Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? <laughs> I wasn't even gonna record y'all. I screen recorded the text message that babe come outside, your food's here. Bro, I looked at this and was like, what the fuck is that? And then I was trying to figure out why it was $17 because obviously I ordered my tea, but maybe because it's because you got the avocado sauce. I didn't ask for avocado sauce. But you like avocado. They said either avocado or sriracha. So I'd go with the avocado because I know you like avocado. I wasn't gonna go with Sriracha. Can I get my shot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, babe. Well, I'm glad no. everything's good. You're not mad. It I was thought. Trip and it wasn't the same color as my last trip. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I tell you, I don't order for her. So when she'd be sending me and I'd be getting different shit, I'd be like, I hope this is right because. Oh, wait. All I know is this shit might be wrong and I be, might be right. getting sent back. Like, all right, cool. We good, mobsters. So happy Tuesday. Stay blessed. Stay wavy. See we love y'all. <laughs> what up, mobsters? Don't I look like a new motherfucking me? Don't I look like a ooh, 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 yeah? Hey, guess how much that cut was? Ten dollars. Hey, hit my man up, Bar Brick. Hey, it's gonna be right here. Post notification. Bar Brick. It is Bar Brick. But hit my man up, Bernie, bro. He is a barber. He didn't bless your kid man, for the $10. He can get you married, and he can cut your hair, and he can bless you. Yo, so shout out to Bernie's, man. What He's a big know? three combo, you feel me? But uh, the mob is slow way. Tell me what y'all think about my haircut. Shout out to my baby girl. She paid for this pre advance so I could get my hair cut today. Shout out to her. She said she didn't want me looking ugly at the wedding. So, you feel me? <laughs> you, you, your boy look good. All right, serious note, guys. Serious, 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 serious note. Literally, about like probably like 45 minutes to an hour ago, guys, um, there was a school shooting in Las Vegas, Canyon Springs, yo. I just want to count my blessings on my side of my family because none of them are hurt, none of them are injured. If your family or any friends or family members that go to Canyon Springs go there and if they were a part of this accident today, prayers to y'all family. I'm sorry about this because I'm so mad at this. Um, generation bro like why the fuck would you bring a gun to the school and shoot the school shoot at the school bro there's innocent people standing out there and just because you got some 
beef or some stupid drama or something, bro. You want to shoot at the school? So it sounds like somebody was just playing like sports or something. And the bullet, like I say, when anybody shoots, a bullet don't got no name on it. So if a bullet gets fired, bro, that's why everybody get down because that bullet can kill anybody at any time because a bullet don't have a name on it and it's not promised when it's fired. So prayers to whoever got killed and prayers to their family. I'm sorry. And it is a tragic to hear that. But man, Y'all need to chill out, bro. Killing innocent people for no reason. This shit ain't cool. That shit ain't the one. That ain't the route. That ain't the way to go. Like, I'm sorry. This shit is a serious topic, bro. People are getting killed for no reason because niggas want to act dumb. Niggas want to act hard. Niggas want to be gangster. That shit ain't gangster. Being gangster is giving your mama $3,000 and not asking her for the money back. Being gangster is going to buy your mama a new house. Being gangster is going to buy your brother and sister school clothes and, and, and um, having the utilities they need to be successful so they're not a bum in the future like you or be a gangster. That's being gangster. Being gangster is being smart with your knowledge and fucking using it to your ability so you can be a boss. That's being gangster, holding and toting these guns and shit, bro. That shit's out. At any time of the day, that could be one of us, you feel me? And I think about that all the time, like, that could be me. That could be my girl. That could be my brother. That could be my mom. So I say count my blessings. I really count my blessings. I talk to God, be like, thank you. Like, I'm counting everything because... Bro, this shit, for real, you know, any time of the day, you could lose your life, and people don't understand that, and they take that shit for granted, and and people want to be gangster and shit, and think that they, oh, I'm big and bad, but as soon as you, as soon as you do whatever you had to do to be gangster, as soon as you do that, and lose your, lose everything towards your life as far as going to jail, you're going to be like, I didn't even, I didn't even, no, bro, that's just out, bro. Just, just stop being gangster, bro. Like, for real. Be gangster as in getting a job. Be gangster as in giving back to the community. Be gangster as in, you feel me? Make some money, bro. Not be gangster and killing people, bro. Like, especially innocent kids that are only in high school. That shit ain't gangster, bro. That could have been my brother or sister, bro. You feel me? So, it could be possibly anybody. I might know the person because I know a lot of people, but I might know that person. Don't get me wrong, if I gotta fight somebody, if I gotta buck up, if I gotta do this or that, that's what's gonna have to happen because why? I'm only doing it because probably to protect my family. Why? To, to protect my life. Why? I'm not, if, if you feel me, I'm not gonna give that person the, the doubt to take my life and, and move on with his when that nigga was in the wrong, no. You feel me? If I have to go to that route and, and pull a gun or shoot somebody, I will because I, I have to do that. I'm protecting my life, but the route of you just going out and killing people and shooting people and acting gangster, that shit is out the water. Bro. That's my message to y'all. My five minute message. As y'all can see, I just gave y'all a little five minute message how I feel about the situation that just happened today at Canyon Springs. I'm sorry we went on this ramp. We gonna have to. I'm sorry, Tavion went on that ramp. Hey. Sorry that he has a mouth. Don't be that idiot. Please don't be that idiot that wants to bring a gun to school. Don't be that guy. Because anybody, I promise you, anybody that brings a gun to school, you deserve to go to jail and you deserve to be locked up. Why would you bring a gun to school for what? The only intentions is to kill somebody. And there's a bunch of innocent people in there that don't need to be in that drama. So, I'm sorry that I went on this rant, mobsters. I really am. But I'm just frustrated as fuck because thinking that could have been my little sister Anaya. That could have been my little brother Kayvon. You feel me? That could have been either one of them. My brother played basketball. These niggas uh, running the track to see. These niggas running the track to get they, you know, they um, they breathing up. You feel me? They stamina them up. So literally today, if my brother didn't miss school, he would have been out there when that shooting was happening. You know how, you know how fast my, you know how fast my mind would have started going? My heart would have started going by my little brother? finding out he might possibly be in a school shooting like that shit that shit is scary i know y'all feel the same way if that was y'all siblings or anybody y'all love you feel me if y'all need to y'all need to better y'all lives y'all need to be more positive so need to be with more that positive. with that being said our condolences and our prayers go to the family that lost their child today and you know we just pray that everybody at the school 
keep your guys' heads up and stay safe and keep out of that drama. So I just pray anybody that see this, bro, like just take it in, like, bro. Not everybody around y'all is y'all friends. One. And you know what's crazy? And not everybody around y'all is safe. You feel me? Not you need to. You guys need to observe more. That's why I like to tell people. I tell my girl all the time. You've been observing. Did you see that? Did you see that? She'd be like, No. I'd be like, Bro, you need to observe more because the less you observe, the less you can you can be more active or react. That shit ain't cool. I'm very upset at the fact that that happened. That could have been my little brother. That could have been my little sister. And I thank God and Izzy and prayers to that family. I send condolence. We send condolence to y'all. Stay peaceful, man. The mob is slow way. Three up, three down. I'm a black hippie. And you want to be a, a hippie, man? It ain't hard, man. Just be, just spread love, man. Spread love. Be peaceful and be happy with your life every day. For real. The mob is slow way. We love y'all. And send condolence to that family one more time. Three up, three down. Join the wave for drowning it. Your wave is my wave. The so guys, mobsters, I got a crazy announcement, exciting news. Bro, our best friend, well, my best friend, our. our best friend, Brandy and Mona is in town right now. They're in town. Shit's crazy. So when they get here, I'm going to put them on the cam, man. I can't believe it. They literally just takes us like, yo, where you at? We headed to the, to the North Outlets. And we're like, what? Best friend. Best friend. Best friend. Mona. Bring it in, B. What? It's been so long as she has on the mama's side. Mona. What's up, man? Oh, what's up? How you look? She's so big, huh? That ain't the Lexi y'all used to seeing, man. The mob is slow way though. She's Look at legs in the mob is slow way. Okay. Really is. Mona, get your hands off. This is my part right now. <laughs> <laughs> it gets real. So wait, what are you guys here for? I'm here to see y'all. We're yeah. here to see y'all. We're here to see to baby. Visit. The baby. Yeah, gang, gang, She's gang. Not even out yet, they came to see the baby. <laughs> Just in the belly though. Just in the belly. That's so much love. That's true friendship, right there. Oh, this place is dope. We come back to this. H&M's right here, though. Gang, gang. Bro, I can't believe. Y'all really came. And y'all only leaving in a couple hours. You're not going to be tired? Wait, at, at, what, two? Yeah, two, almost three. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, wow. What time you have class? Well, I have class at 12. Oh, so you'll be good. <laughs> bro, we don't like to vlog like that, bro. Can you stop doing that? He long, bro. Don't show that whole body. It's not about that. Weirdo. <laughs> they won't be too skinny and they hit my ankles right here. With your dress. I no, that don't go with your dress. I know they don't, but they're. Yo, she trying to buy these. We we wedding shopping, and she trying to buy these. What I you gonna wear with them? They're cute as shit. All right. Well, Christmas is coming. No, I want that. But that don't go with your dress. I don't know what you're doing. You told me that. Okay. It's the waste. No. Your dress is floral. Okay, thank you, Captain Abby. <laughs> this is a casino? Yeah, this, this is, is a, a this is casino <laughs> slash mall, bro. This is a Casino slash mall. I'm slash hotel. Slash hotel. Slash hotel too. This is your first time out here? This is mine, yeah. No. This is your first time. Yeah, besides when I like landed here for like a delayed flight. <laughs> and that one time we uh, stopped here to go to Hooters. Man, Brandy, it's your first time, man. What you like so far? I want to the go bright lights. To Michael Jackson. The what? Michael Jackson. There was a hotel when I came over here like three years ago that had Michael Jackson on it. We got to find it. 
that had Michael Jackson on it when he passed yeah, away, right? Someone that looks like no. Jackson. No? Wait, I wasn't listening to her when she said three years ago, so don't try to play she me. said three years ago. So, don't try to play me. I just know she said Michael Jackson in a hotel. So like, what? How many Fifth. times? Fifth? It's like Six. me when I go to Disneyland, you know? Yeah. You start seeing the bright lights and like, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. you hear me? But Brandy, it's like for her, it's like, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. It's like a whole new world for her. Which is pretty dope. I'm glad we got to experience it with you. I know. Where's all the I know. I was, usually they get, they're more down, to be honest. They're a little bit more down. Brandy, my best friend from college, first time out here in Las Vegas. So she's, uh, she's like a little kid at Disneyland. Y'all remember when she made this shirt for my uh, senior, our sophomore night? Mom is slow 24. Oh, yeah. Swag, swag. I was like, okay, young Jersey t shirt. I see you. We had us. I'm like, y'all walking way too fast. Hey, walking like <sighs> we no, got I'm it, babe. Like this because it's so heavy, I gotta like. You gotta exercise. Me down. You got that shit, baby. I need a wheelchair. It is Brandy's first time gambling ever, ever. It's the Will of Fortune, so I think every time you win, you win some money. 